Well, hello everybody and happy Friday. We have a lot of stuff going on today. It's been very, very busy in the newsroom. So let's get right into it. We have all eyes on the sky today in Pensacola, how you can still catch a glimpse of the Blue Angels homecoming show and a man arrested in Alberta for identity theft. How police found out he was committing a crime and a visitation for legendary News 5 anchor Mel Showers is happening right now and what people in Mobile have to say about him. Let's get into it. This is News 5 Now, streaming live to your neighborhood and around the world. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on News 5 Now. I'm Haley Kennedy. And like I mentioned, we have a lot of stuff to get into today on News 5 Now, where we get together every single day, bring you our big stories, as well as share your answers to our question of the day and our Facebook poll of the day, how you guys voted in that. So let's get right into it. Time to count down the big stories we're following for you right now. Starting with Nope. Sorry, I'm already messing up. Starting with number five. <laughs> is that time of the year again? The Blue Angels Homecoming Air Show. Spectators from all over came together to watch in awe as the Blue Angels took to the sky this afternoon. The theme of this year's air show, celebrating one small step, reflecting the 55th anniversary of Apollo's 11th historic lunar landing. And this year, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds also took flight. NAS Pensacola expects the two-day event to draw in more than 250,000 people. And if you missed the action today, don't worry. Gates will open tomorrow at 8 a.m. with the show beginning at noon. Alrighty, and then number four. At one time or another, everyone has lost their keys or misplaced their wallet. I know I'm a... I'm a big one with that one. I always forget where my glasses are after I take out my contacts and then I can't find them. But finding them again has ne probably never been this wild as what happened in Alberta. And it's landed one man behind bars facing felony charges. Alberta police say 33-year-old Michael Krolik found a wallet in the Alberta pharmacy parking lot, which contained credit cards, a driver's license, cash, and a checkbook. Krolik then took the ID inside the pharmacy and tried to fill the prescription. The problem? The person whose ID he tried to use works there. The woman who ID it was told our Debbie Williams that Krolik walked up to the counter and rattled off her name before handling, handing her the wallet. Shortly after that, Krolik was leaving the store in handcuffs. Krolik is charged with felony identity theft and two misdemeanor theft charges. Number three, nearly 50 shell casings were covered after police responded to a shooting in Atmore. Police tell us that just before 10 last night, officers responded to shots fired in the residence of 4th Avenue. When they got there, they found 49 shell casings from three different guns. No one was injured, but there were multiple homes and vehicles hit by the gunfire. The Atmore Police Department is asking anyone with information to contact them. Those involved will be charged with attempted murder. Number two, Mobile Police surrounded a home in Theodore looking for a suspect wanted for domestic violence and sex crimes. Officers blocked off the entrance to Idlemore Drive from Old Pascoola Road as SWAT tried to serve a warrant this afternoon. Police left after no one came out of the house. They say they are still looking for the suspect but did not release the suspect's name. And number one, visitation for former News 5 anchor Mel Showers is going on right now at True Vine Missionary Baptist. Showers passed away at the age of 78 on October 19th, and people at the church told News 5 Jeremy Jones that Mel was not only a great journalist, but had a great, friendly personality that compelled them to watch WKRG News 5 over the past, or over the course of his 50-year career. People who also were there said they grew up watching Mel Showers every day, so it's going to be hard to say goodbye, but he will always be remembered. His funeral service will be held tomorrow at Sanger Theater at Joachim Street. Uh, his body will lie in state from 8 to 10.30 a.m., and the service will begin at 11. 
you can't attend the service, we will stream it on our WKRG.com and our Facebook page. And that is all of our big stories at this hour. It's time to... Sorry, this thing, this little button always confuses me. Okay, it's time to go to our question of the day and share your answers. So let's get to it. All right, so the question is, election day is quickly approaching. There we go, let me get into frame for you guys. Election day is quickly approaching and WKRG is your local election headquarters. According to a recent poll, one in four people lie about who they vote for. Now, knowing that, we asked, do you lie about who you vote for? And this is what you are saying this afternoon. All righty. Marie Walker says, Trump will get my vote, but I'm a proud mom of two Harris voters. My two who voted for her did exactly as they were taught. They voted for the candidate they believed was their best choice, and if anyone gives them any trouble because of it, I will be the first one to shut it down. Marie Walker with that mama bear status. <laughs> All righty, let's see, who else? Uh, Benny Wall and Cole said, it is my vote, so none ya. That is a very fair answer. Um, let's see. Let's see, Brian Gottfried said, you may not believe this, but outside of work, I have texted both campaigns most days. I currently talk via text to about seven people a day from campaigns, books may be written, written after one more presidential side kept all the receipts really some funny things said by both sides how they given volunteers so much responsibility i had no idea yes text me my, for my vote was not what they imagined but still do it regardless all righty don sheet sheet said not that it's anyone's business but i am voting for actually i already have trump and i don't care if anyone gets butt hurt over it or not Daryl McDonald said, if you don't tell anyone, then you don't have to lie. That is very true. Tom Chapman said, it's nobody's business to know who I vote for. Yeah, I mean, all very, very fair answers that everybody is um, stating. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens on election day and what those outcomes are for both uh, our our country and on our local side as well in our local po politics um let's see one more comment let's see which one are we going to read today iris adam says why then again it's no one's business <sighs> all righty so yeah those are some very very fair answers that everybody had said today. So let's move on to our Facebook poll of the day. Looking for something fun to do this weekend? Well, look no further because the Alabama Pecan Festival is back this weekend. Oh man, I didn't even realize I, I kind of played into the poll today. I say it both ways though. So I'm from like literally everywhere, grew up in like nine different states. So I, my, if you guys hear me talking, you're like, Haley, what are you saying? I don't know either sometimes. So pecan, pecan, 88% of you said pecan, 12% of you said pecan, and I am split right down the middle. I say it both ways. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's hard to remember sometimes, but I mean, I know it's, it's a really, really big deal here in the South, so maybe I should get my act together, stop acting like a fool, right guys? <laughs> Alrighty, well, now here's what we want you to go do next. Go over to our Facebook, and we want you to be involved in our question of the day and our polls of the day. See how interesting they are? It gives us something to talk to you guys, it makes us feel like we're, we're best buddies, knowing each other and learning, learning more about each other. So go answer our next question of the day, it is, are you ready for daylight saving time to end? Oh man, it's gonna get, it's already dark. What time is it? It's 5.42 and it's already getting so dark outside. So I'm not really sure how I'm feeling about this, but that is, I believe it's on Sunday. So that, I'm not sure if you get an hour or you lose. I think it's you lose an hour this time around. And so we're, it's going to start getting darker faster, but are you guys ready for it? And then vote in our next Facebook poll. 
We want to know your vote on this. Is it too early for Christmas music? We'll be right back here tomorrow to share those results. And I mean, I know yesterday was Halloween, so I guess I guess we can start playing Christmas music. I always told my parents that they couldn't start decorating or doing anything until Thanksgiving because my birthday is around Thanksgiving. So I always feel like you need to have the proper Halloween, Haley's birthday, Thanksgiving, and then we can do Christmas. I don't know about you guys, but that's just what I think. <laughs> All right, any time, I can't talk to you guys. I can't talk to you today. So sorry, guys. But in the meantime, turn on your television, catch the rest of CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, and then you'll be right where you need to be for 6 o'clock, where me, myself, and Peter Albrecht will be joining you guys for News 5 at 6 o'clock with all the news that you guys need to know today. Uh, meteorologist Grant Skinner will be with us with the forecast, and our sports reporter Gerhard Mathagani will be Alive with some football Friday Night Lights. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. And so that's where we will be for WKRG News 5 at 6. Thank you so much for joining us here at News 5 now. Have a great weekend, everybody.